front K band. Hey everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. Today, we'll be unveiling the world's first aftermarket receiver radar detector integration. Kenwood, K40, and iDatalink have come together to give you the best solution for controlling your radar detector directly from the convenience of your touchscreen Kenwood receiver. So let's take a look. What's needed to make all of this work? Well, the first thing that you'll need is a compatible Kenwood multimedia receiver. Many Kenwood multimedia receivers are compatible with this setup. In fact, even prior generation receivers, starting with products ending in a 3S, are compatible with this system. So be sure to reference our website for which models are compatible. Then you'll need an iDatalink Maestro RR. Next, you'll need a new K40 custom installed radar detector system, either the RL360DI or the RL200DI. These systems will consist of either two radar receivers with the RL360DI or one radar receiver with the RL200DI. What you will notice is on the host module for these new systems, there are three ports on the side. Ports labeled 1, 2, and 3. Port number 1 will be for the Kenwood Maestro RR combination. Ports number 2 and 3 will be for future system expansion K40 options. There will be a supplied red data connector cable that will plug in directly color coded to the Maestro RR's red connector. From that input there, you will then see on the opposite side is the normal data input and wire connection. This is where you connect directly to the back of the Kenwood multimedia receiver. In this case, I am using it in a universal mode. You will need to flash the Meister RR for the compatible vehicle or for a universal mode. What's great about this is, if you are flashing it for a specific vehicle, you can simply flash it as you always would to replace the radio it will then automatically work with the new K40 system. Keep in mind that if you had a prior installed system of a Kenwood, you will need to reflash the Meister RR as iDatalink has added in all new firmwares for individual vehicles. Alternatively, you can flash this universally. This means that you do not need to have a vehicle that is iDatalink Meister RR compatible. You could in theory put this in a 67 Chevy. It doesn't matter. You can simply flash it universally, and that will allow the Meister RR to help the communication path between the K40 and the Kenwood directly, completely isolated from the vehicle itself. So as you can see, a really simple setup process. Now as for the K40 system, of course, that's on you. K40.com has excellent references. The team at K40 has awesome resources to be able to help you with the installation and connection process. Now we can see this in action on the receiver. Let's start by entering into the K40 source screen and then take a look at several of the options that you have. Filter, highway, city, extended mute on, extended mute off, marked to alert, marked location removed. Laser off. Laser on. Quiet ride 15. 20. 15. Quiet ride set. Speed monitor 85. 80. 75. Speed monitor set. Medium low. Low. You can also adjust more intricate settings by selecting the settings icon.
So again, full control of the K40 radar detector system. We've been testing this with the Bushnell Velocity Radar Gun, model number 101911. Okay, so let's see how this actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and press the radar gun now. Front K band. What you notice is it displays both the direction and the miles per hour. Let's try it again. That's what it looks like when you're on the main source screen for the K40 radar detector. Let's switch back to the home screen. Now let's try the radar gun. You see the widget does display the information. Let's see what happens when we are just on the main home screen for Kenwood. No widget, no radar detector screen. I'll press the button now. You notice that you heard the sound from the K40 speaker, but you did not see the display change. Let's take a look at the K40 radar detector settings screen. When you enter into the settings, you will see there is something called radar screen interrupt. Let's go ahead and select that, and you do see it is currently off. Let's turn that to on. Now, if we exit back, or you could just press the home button to go to the main screen. Let's take a look at what happens when I press the radar gun now. You see that instantly it changed to the K40 source screen. Now it goes back to the home screen automatically. Thanks again everyone for tuning in to the unveiling of the world's first aftermarket stereo radar detector integration. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Kenwood.